Okay. Hey everybody, I'm back for another stream today, a early stream for Final Fantasy um, 16. I know I haven't been back on here in a minute. I had to take some time off. I had some personal um, things I had to deal with, but I'm back for another stream. I have been trying to stay. I've been well. I've been trying to stay off from social media, trying to like watch any of this. But I have been just been dealing with a lot of stuff right now. But I'm back for you know another stream today for Final Fantasy 16. Like I just said, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm just like repeating myself. I'm kind of tired right now. Just woke up. Just woke up like a few minutes ago. But, yeah, enough said. I'm just going to jump straight into it. So, enjoy the stream. Ah, shit. Perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. I can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid scales, the ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared. Uh oh. Which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As always. Boy, cause I was about to run straight ahead too. I'm not even I'm not even gonna cat. Cause dude, I was gonna let my ass off. Huh? Sid! Out of your studies, I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. <gasps> oh. Then just how long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We dis dismembered them. Just Still like means break. Miss Mididol. Why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become an engineer. Miss Mididol said. The best way I see how some it worked is to take it apart and put it back together again. Well then, your work is already half done. Carry on. Uh... <laughs> About that. Uh oh. The taking apart was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. Then. Then. Um. You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? Right. Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. 
you already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? Yeah, you gonna make me pick? This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> like a chocobo wing! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. Boy, I thought it was a right. I thought it was a right. I thought it was a right answer for two These seconds. Parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Minadol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round. And... That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved. When I tried weighing an apple, and then somebody ate it. Not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. We know what part's supposed to move, and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see, it's not so difficult. So... Now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. <laughs> well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. And then the arms hold the pans by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Ah, all finished. Yes, we did it. Well, with Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We're Miss Middle's hairs. Her hairs? Yeah, hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? With a little more help from Miss Mitterdoll and Miss Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you hear that? It won't be long. Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? Oh! Oh shit, I forgot. I gotta go back. I... I got to go back!
Dad said I could ride the Enterprise next. No, she didn't. She said I could. Well, did you solve the mystery? It was as you thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully, she won't. This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's no need. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. <laughs> She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies had been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else it would be an opportunity, but to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. One she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, uh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. I miss the old Sid. <laughs> How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. And what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a... Curl does a mouse. Yeah. You underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill spoken. It's just. I have never felt so powerless, and when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps. No, perhaps the prince feels the same. Wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Dion. He fucked the whole town up.
Not gonna lie, that's a fire ass spear design. I'm sorry. Here, it's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them. Or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. Hey, kid. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few. <laughs> I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes. It's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile. And that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you coming! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. Uh, 
this sucks. Shit, it was worth the try. Oh no, not her again. I still say it were a compliment. Say it all you like. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't see my ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters. All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Bitch! Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the last king. Understand him. And you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas. And barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say, naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right, bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah, oh, 
do cuz I'm I'm ready to fight I'm ready to fight that dude like bad Discovered appears to agree with the findings of his grace. You ah. recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore. Oh, God, my bad, my bad, my now, bad. However, I believe I know where to find a more complete example, one that will reveal <coughs> all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the crystalline orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm. What of that? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand and so you see now why i must accompany you to walud it would appear the past still has much to teach us though in this case it would not have been possible without the musings of moss <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the A.O. Hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. <coughs> Mid said I can ride the Enterprise League. Up and Joshua's here. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill. The Enterprise will appear a tempting target for Royalists and Pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. <coughs> if there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Hmm? Of course. Oh, now they want me to do wait. Why is it two?
Oh, this is bullshit. God. My Lord Marquis. It was the greatest honor of my life. And now, so I bid you. Yote. seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But... But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. Of course, the fuck? Joshua. Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source, one that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone water itself is unharmed by the flood. Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord... Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. And the course is not here. She can't keep this up much longer. Glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Tai to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did.
Okay. Well, Taya, Rodrigo is worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The Crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't tire. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I, I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom weeping <coughs> spider that lives oh, in the no. near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. What the fuck? There we go. Oh damn, I forgot I got I got Shiba. Bitch. 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 Move. 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 You ugly bitch. I, I, I know your moves. Still got it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, fucking hell. Oh! 
No. No. <laughs> oh, 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 the parries, the parries, the parries. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. Here it is. Better collect as much as I can before reinforcements arrive. Oh, okay. Right. That should do it. Let's get these back to you, Tay. Whoops. Okay. Taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. You know what you have to do. I won't let you down. Oh, I wanna do this shit real quick. Yeah, this damn bird just appeared. Yeah. Hell no. Quickly hit the wrong damn button. Let's see what the hell is going on over here.
I know you're all afraid, but now it's not the time for shilly shallying. you have to do. Clive, I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. We must strike now. Before we part, I want you to know that, though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you, as I trusted your predecessor. Thank you. I appreciate the sentiment, and I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the one I found, and it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lostwing? Everything you've built. I built Lostwing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those among us who cannot fight. Children, the elderly, bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lostwing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway? That they might live even should Lost Wing die. This nigga is really serious. I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well being of those who rallied to my cause. The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case the Black Shields strike. Understood. I'll make sure they get to the hideaway safely. Then the last of my preparations are complete. Fare you well, Clive. And may Grieger guide us. All of us. To go to Bales then, and quickly, before anyone else finds them. Side missions in one stream. Never thought I would see the day. Everyone, Quinton has asked that you come with me. You can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with his. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lostwing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. And if that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see this through to the end. But we can get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! Huh? You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster. They don't stand a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to them, they're all gonna fucking die. No. We can't let this happen. Sid! 
Don't worry about us. You've got to catch up with him. We can't let Quinton die before that bastard does. All right. I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? It's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven all, he calls it. Promise us, Sid. Promise us you'll do what you can. Oh, Lord. Fast travel. The High Cardinal. <coughs> Let's go. Fly, Ambrosia. What the hell is that? Not this creepy as music again. Don't tell me I'm too late. <coughs> Thanks, girl. Quinton, are you all right? No, but I am alive. Which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died. For nothing. This must be the guard dog, Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But. for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on then. Uh, great. You're no guard dog. You're just a rabid beast that needs to be put down. Come on. Ah! Woo! Hell the fuck no. Whoa, whoa. <coughs> Hell the fuck no. Is it over? This is. He wept. 
and begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear, just as I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans, building a haven in Lostwing, freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. It was all for this. But what is this? Justice? My faithful comrades. All those lives lost. So that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton! Oh, thank Grieka you're safe. You? You're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I, I tried to warn you about that, that thing. And I hate to say it, but there's more bad news. It's Lost Wing. It's been flooded. What? Bruh. Bruh, are you kidding me? Lost wing. My lost wing. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left, just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I thought they recharged already. Yep, you're done. I need to get back to Quentin. And he's dead. Quentin. Quentin. Look at me. Thank the founder. He hasn't turned. I'm going to get you out of here. Welcome. 
land of the living. Is Lost Wing? The flood has filled the valley. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. <laughs> no, Master Quinn. Save your strength. Why? All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, ain't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't, so long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah. And all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. Facts. Let's start again. Build a new Lost Wing. Right here in the bales. A fresh start. One life ends. And another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns. A nation, even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please. I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it. I keep calling it. Alicia, but Kaya's right. 
Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose stars even the most agonizing pain and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. feeling light mid here drifting on waves good just relax let the waves carry you to a better place thank you Diane I'm so proud of you He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigo. And you, Clive. I'll see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And the kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. All right, that's one. Damn. Yote, I brought back all the stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and His Grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so. But I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. All right. Hey on guys, I'm going to take a um, quick a uh, quick break real quick. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Oh, whoa, 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 I forgot. I, I forgot. I was watching something on my on my iPad. <laughs> now, hold on, cause okay, apparently there's a sword on here that I was that I've been trying to get. Um, the last time, but I never got it. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. There we go. Because I want that sword. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm over thinking it's a whole different game when I, when I try to like zoom in or out. <sighs> Never mind. I gotta wait. Is something wrong? No, too. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order. I'll be off saving the world. And I'm going over there. I hate this damn game. <laughs> Torgo Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead. See if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Uh oh. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. She understood. Damn! What was that for? Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. He didn't even make her choose. She... She did that on her, she did that on her, on her own term. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. <laughs> and you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. Then so be it. Just 
Don't forget. You're not alone. I think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? No, no. Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. Jesus Christ. I always wanted to visit Ash. No, hold on, hold on. Says I'm here. Okay, I gotta go deep over there. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Run like the wind. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav. This place is as dead as Greek as ghost. <clears throat> Creepy. Oh fuck no. I knew I smelled something. I see only orcs and a castle. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time. <clears throat> okay, I kinda want okay, I kinda want the smoke now. Nope. You bitch. Okay, what the fuck? Be safe. <coughs> oh, all at once. Let's go. Okay, Joshua. was a person right there right about that welcome after all Clive Oh, 
Oh, hell no. Delegation, we should send a warning to the others. No, my uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Estes Labyrinth monsters. <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. Huh? This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. Sure about this. About leaving my brother on his own. Of course. Mostly. <laughs> Lady Vivian's map is so old. It's hard ah, to did again. Which way is up? <laughs> But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. <sighs> Ugh, this place reeks like a marble's asshole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that'll kill us. And they said it's right over here. Run like the wind. No, no. No, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Thanks, girl. <coughs> ah, you bitch. Motherfuckers, I said I don't want the smoke today. Inside. I think I just set myself up for failure. Eh? Sheba. How hard could it be? Nope. Bruh. Y'all niggas take us all goddamn long to hit me. Did he just pull them to get. That's dope.
Oh. Oh, what the? What's up with the fucking port? Oh hell no, it's three stages? Move Gap, move! Yes! Now this is a sword. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, why y'all following me? <coughs> oh, how much breath? Uh, don't look down, Toggle. <laughs> That must be Estla. Straight home now. Think, Clive. Bro, it's too damn quiet. I don't like it. We're too late. <coughs> damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. No quarter gap. No quarter. Yep, young niggas are fucked.
more enemies? Y'all just want all the smoke. Ooh! Okay, now that's just cheating. Got the right shit. Oh, hell no. Come on. Please tell me that's all though. I spoke too soon. Fuck out of here. Oh, and the level up. Man, man, I forgot how good this damn game oh this game was. Gav. 
Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Whoa, what the f- Hello. Sorry about that. Have you come to watch, Odin? <laughs> Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this! What the fuck is this damn game? What did you do? Can we kill him now? Uh, Clive, 
Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Fucking cat. Got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? Of course. So this nigga put up a fucking Where's barrier. With the king. If his majesty wants me to come and ask him, then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition. <sighs> We don't even know where the fucker went! <laughs> Hold out, we cool our heads, and think this through, eh? Alright. Maybe there's something here we can use. We got them all. So did I. I don't like this. Is that a person? Wait, the way she was holding her stomach, is she pregnant? started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by the ether. Till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came. And I didn't know what to do. Parents told us when we misbehaved about how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath. The end of the world. You said the others went mad, but where did they go? They. they all left. East to the tower to reverie the elders the healer the blacksmith my husband you thinking he did this of course who else could it be <sighs> You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. Then what about her? 
How come her nut hasn't cracked? The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean... it's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower... That's where we'll find the king. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be... What the hell? It's complete. Ultima and this vessel are free. Garuda, Ramu, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. But where is the Phoenix? Phoenix. the founder <laughs> So that's what you want isn't it Ultima So that's how it's gonna be then. I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? <sighs> I. Don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. So, now are we going to find him now? Because I'm ready to be his ass. If Barnabas is controlling the Akashic, then wherever he goes, they'll follow. And so will I.
I'm not, I'm not running all the way over there. Nope. This is so fucking cool. No. Oh, hell no. Hold on. Before we do this, I need to have the most strongest icons that I can freaking use. This is it, boy. I've come for you, Barnabas. <laughs> Stay close, Torgal. <laughs> Oh, great. Now we gotta do more fighting, I know it. Fuck, I know it.
Hell no. We gotta go. <sighs> Bloody fallen. Why do all their flaws seem to have a mind of their own? Kidding me? Why are they purple? Oh, yeah. That's a big homie. Are you crazy? You're done. I spoke too soon. Uh-uh, that... no, that's creepy. <coughs> Are you 
kidding me? Shot lightning? die already. Please tell me we're here. If I were Barnabas, where would I be? The top. So I could look down on the world. Oh, fucking Lord. Nope, you're mine. to use it.
What the fuck are you, sir? Well, Woo! That's new. Though I expect it'll feel like the rest. Ooh, ooh. Oh, let's go. Nope. Nigga tried to do a fucking Unibeam at me, fake ass Iron Man. I'ma take back everything I just said. Fuck out of here! No, get the fuck out of here! No, let's go! Man, this thing wasn't even all of that. I know, I know what that thing was. I know, I know what that thing was. It was a bitch. <laughs> That's what the fuck it was. Finally! I spoke too soon. Come on, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did I just teleport in front of it? Nigga. 
I don't know your moves. Whoa, what the f Okay, that's gonna get annoying. Hell no! <laughs> Bitch, you must have lost your goddamn mind! Kidding me? Fuck this. Ooh. Are you kidding me? I'm over this damn game. So this motherfucker just gonna keep giving me bosses after bosses so I get up there with them? No, that's cheating. That's bull. All right, if you want to fight, let's fight. <clears throat> nope. Fuck out of here. D Ooh, double parry.
Ooh. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. You're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> I just overkilled this nigga. <laughs> There. What the fuck you mean almost there, bro? Hold on, bro, before we even do anything. <laughs> Let's do this. Why? The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. Oh my god, will you shut up all this damn foolishness? What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep. They roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You are wrong. <coughs> it is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall, not as a puppet, but as a man. 
Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens, and they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open, and so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. Proven, the Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living? <laughs> Seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. Very well. Come then. Oh my god, finally! Choose the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. Oh. But the weakness of yours. Oh Jesus, all this talking was making me fall asleep. Wait to take your fucking abilities, bro, cause you talking all this damn damn fucking bullshit. What the fuck is this shit? There we go.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is he turning the fucking Odin, bro? That now this nigga is cheating. Desperate, are we? Oh yeah. Did this nigga just shoot me out of my fucking- No. Bro, the fucking dog. I keep forgetting he's here. Oh, this is gonna be a long ass fight. What the fuck? I don't know how the fucking like dodge that attack that he just did. What the? F whoa, 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 whoa. Good boy. What the fuck? Bitch. Sorry, Togo. What the fuck is this damn ball? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, that's it.
defeat, is it? You admitted defeat the moment you turned your back on us. When you turned your back on the truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your God believes. I knew that wasn't easy. Was a real one, bro. Damn it. Shut up, you stupid little giant horse. Move, 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 move. Nigga, did he made that damn thing bigger? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I already know the button. I already know the button. This nigga broke the damn sword! You dare! Oh, I got your shit now, nigga! Could it be you have made a weapon of your weakness? <laughs> My apologies. You are not the fool I took you for. Oh god, that was dope. He has like a run out of power? <laughs> Don't tell me you are tired, Mythos. Your stubborn defiance has stirred my long becalmed heart, filling it with a joy that I have not known for generations. Why did his voice sound so pitch and demonic? Me. What the fuck? Not again. Ah! Get the f 
fuck out of here. just do I don't like this nope Whoa, 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 stay still, stay still. You gotta be kidding me! Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I don't know what to do! Know what to do. <laughs> oh, no, he got double wielding swords.
No! Nah, bro, fuck you. Give me your power and fucking die, bitch. It is I who stand victorious. My will the prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield. <clears throat> Oh my god, my throat hurt. God, this man, that this dude was so difficult to fight. approval I... yeah fuck you, you a fantasy and you chose to believe it but you were wrong there is no world but the one we live in and that world that world is worth saving even if it means killing a god. Oh. Bold words from one who has served the Lord so well. This is pointless. Uh, but I almost forgot. <laughs> I promised that I would make you presentable. Did I not? Yes, yes, yes. Get why did it have to be on my damn leg though? Why? But I don't care. Yep, give me your shit. Feel our destinies. Just as the Lord's mother 
crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. <laughs> Damn, I pretty much got everybody's now. At long last, salvation. I'm coming home. Shut up, Ultima. Show yourself. Face me. How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their being? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Edge step by trembling step, ever closer to the divine. With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our vessel. No, I'm not. Behold, how your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. Dark flames? <clears throat> it's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There, all shall end and begin again. I'm not gonna lie, I'm surprised my headphones have not died yet, cause bro, they have been beeping since I've been since I've been playing this shit. I was expecting for these to die at some point. Now what? No time to jerk. Why the hell is my city going with the captain? Don't ask me, ask them. Damn. Since when was I can have all one to hide when there was a fight to be had? Since they stripped me of my rank and banished me from the battlefield. Now I'm stuck right in the backside of this one while the city burns and I'm right over the man half my age. And then you turn up. What the hell are you doing here anyway? Indeed. <laughs> the enemy numbers 200,000 or more counting yours. There are simply not enough soldiers counting in the capital to repel an army of that size. Then, one of the central key. 
held by a contingent of soldiers and bearers from the surrounding forest. They are the sole reason it still stands. And all it took was an army on their doorstep to bring them together. The prospect of death does put things into perspective. <laughs> yeah, perspective. Perhaps it's what we blacked all along. And they got through. are few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye. But I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needed. Gather the them bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life. And I always pay my debts. You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. <coughs> And I must do it by my hand, and my hand alone. Know that I do not ask this lightly. And know that I will do it. Farewell, Terence. Damn. It sounds like that Dion is Miss probably not gonna come back, and I feel like I'm towards the end of the the, the damn game. But I don't know. It feels like it. But the way how he was talking like that, yeah. But now he's crying. Yeah, I, it, it make it almost makes it sound like I'm like I'm like really towards to, I'm like really towards the end of the game. But I don't know what's there to offer now, cause I didn't kill every single icon. Well, so, well, some of the, well, some of the ones that we, some of the ones that I had to fight. But 
and I got almost every icon and fucking abilities now at, at this point, so I don't know what's next. Clive, thank fuck. You all right? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. Dead. The king is dead. Nigga, she's the only survivor? Sucks. Gav, we need to talk. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lord. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned. We'll be here by choice. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Uh, he didn't consider it killing or a mercy of sorts, a way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That is our fate. But that doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. <coughs> for our sins. <sighs> Barnabas said something else. That the mother crystals were Ultimus. Ultimus? Are you son? Huh? We know that the mother crystals have been. Leading the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did 
you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. <coughs> For so long, I believed it to be you, and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a fruit that he desires, but a fruit and phoenix both. That which we became in the skies over Twinside. So he needs me when the twin flames are joined. Shall his vessel be complete? complete? Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless there is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all, we will stop not only the Blight, but Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then. Only this time, we face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. When Barnabas fell, his magic died mm. with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's crazy to me. Bro, this just looks like a dope. Oh my god, I'm feeling. Like, uh, uh, hold on, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh no, that's hard. Okay. This is okay. That's hard. That's so fucking cool. But all right, I'm about to end the stream right here. So I'm uh, I'm gonna pick back on this probably. Well, actually no, I'm actually gonna pick it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick it. I'm gonna pick it up um, tomorrow. Cause tomorrow's Friday. Since I haven't been on here like since I haven't since I haven't been on here since like, like the last couple of like weeks. But I'm gonna be back on here tomorrow. So I'm gonna check you guys later. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and also leave a comment. Share it with your friends. I'm gonna check you guys later tomorrow. Peace.